that everybody can get like a free education? No. Why not? By the way, what's happening in college is not an education. Well, okay. Um, you don't think that college should be free because it's not an education? If it well, was, a, no. Wait, wait, wait. If both, it was an education both. in your eyes, would you think that should be free? Or do what, you what do you mean by free? You mean paid by somebody else? Oh, sure. Hi guys, you're welcome to the Bio Speaks. Thanks for clicking. So this girl proves to Charlie K why college is a scam with a full take. Wow. Hmm, let's hear a point of view. I was hoping we could talk a little bit more about how you see college as a scam. Okay. okay. I think we, we, we did that, but sure. So. Uh, if you want to talk about something else, we can talk about something else. I was just curious. Okay. Um, what, what, would, what would you like to, to pinpoint on exactly. that? Yeah, well, I think a big part of your issue is that people are spending a lot of money and that you feel like they're not getting the equivalent of all the money that they go into debt or that they have to borrow to make it worth it. Um, well, in that case, I really, I think education is really awesome. I think it's really valuable. I think education is the only way that someone like you is able to write a book is because someone taught you how to read and write. And education on all levels is great. So that's not my, that one, I don't think that's your issue with college, right? Do, that do you know people, where I went to college? Um, I don't think that's important right now. Let me just, uh -huh. uh, I, I didn't. I'm just talking to, I said read and write, like who taught you to read? No, no I agree. Hey, I, I, hey, I didn't say grade hey, school's a scam. Can we just keep going? All right. I can said we college just... is a scam, not grade school. Right. Keep going. So we're talking about the financial part, right? So do you think that college should be free then so that everybody can what? get like a free education? No. Why and by, not? by the way, what's happening in college is not an education. Well, okay. Um, I'm just, you don't think that college should be free because it's not an education? If it well, was, a, no. Wait, wait, wait. You're trying if both, it was an education both. in your eyes, would you think that should be free? Or do you what do you mean by free? You mean paid by somebody it, else? Well, sure, our taxpayer dollars would go oh, to okay. pay so, for so, so, yeah. paid so, so paid else. by somebody oh, else. No. Sure. Uh, sure, no. I don't no, no, believe no, that no, no, your all. schooling should be paid by somebody else. Really I want cool my us. taxes to go to schooling for everybody. I think education's great. I don't want my taxes to go to fund wars. I don't want my taxes to go to the military okay. or the police budget, but I don't get you to You don't pick. want any military? I don't think that it should go to fund the military like that. I want my taxes. You don't want any police force? Um, I want my taxes to go towards education because I think education is valuable. Do you think that education okay. should be well, what paid is for? So define education. Exactly. I'm curious. Sure. It's just the, uh, I would probably say that education right now it's is the ability to go out and and learn different mindsets, to be introduced to different subjects, to have the opportunities to talk about these things with a lot of different kinds of people. I think that's the really cool part about college. Someone like you can come here and have different opinions. My history teacher just talked about how he's like, so you look at, he does this whole like, I'm a conservative, old school conservative act. And then one of my other teachers, she's like, I'm a bleeding so hippie, you know? There's like blood. a lot of opportunities Ooh. to just, be introduced to subjects you didn't even know were a thing. Like I didn't know that semiotics was a thing until my last ph philosophy class, and I think that's really interesting. So just the idea that you get to go out to this place and you get to get taught about a bunch of different ideas, do you, are you against that being available for everyone? Oh, I have a completely different view of what education is. So education in Latin means to lead forth. Okay. The, your idea of education is the new age, which is we're going to have like a buffet line of postmodern ideas and all ideas are treated the same. I don't believe that at all. College means partnership in Greek. And going back to education, you must lead forth towards something. Mm. And I think college should lead you towards the good, the true, and the beautiful. Okay. It should lead you towards yeah. things. You think it should lead towards beautiful things? Of like, course. Yes, definitely. Like, beautiful things like you think that uh, we should go out after college and be like where's the prettiest thing that's if your idea me? of beauty is just the aesthetic then you're not having a great college well, experience what's your idea of beauty my bad that my bad. which is perfected in being okay so you really like the the greek ideas and like the roman ideas of like the the idea of perfection and perfect harmony because that's like a very greek and roman way of well it's western which is the civilization we currently live in okay but, that but let me finish from greek and roman it, of course ideologies. you're right so the good the true and the beautiful are the three things that every college student should grapple mm -hmm. with do you think in this current university that is what you're currently grappling with that the focus of your education is enriching yourself to get closer to what is good, what is true and beautiful. beautiful. See, I don't engage with you on the ideas that good, true, and beautiful are something that can be defined and something well, that, that can be taught. Your perfect evidence of why I think college is a scam. 
Why do you, ah. wait, I don't. Because of course they could be defined and they should be sought after. Yes. Okay, so you think that something like the beautiful, the perfect, like yes. something like goodness can be defined in quantifiable, teachable. T oh, because you're Christian. I forgot you guys think yes. that there's like yes, a the, binary well, to well, goodness. Well, no, there, there, there's a hierarchy, not a binary. Oh, there's okay. an ultimate perfection. The ultimate okay. perfection would be that there's a creator who loves you, mm -hmm. who okay. made you in his image and loved you so much to come down and take the broken flesh form, live a perfect life, die and rise from the dead mm -hmm. so that you might live forever. There mm -hmm. is nothing more perfect, good, true, or beautiful than that. Exactly. Okay, so I don't really engage with religion like that, but what about just the idea that you get to go to a place, you get taught about different subjects, you get the opportunity, okay, I'm sorry, because you don't, you don't have access to all these things wherever you come from, you get the opportunity to talk to people who know a lot about these different subjects and get to learn about that. You don't think that, uh, that no, should be free well, or like what? provided First of all, I don't for? think it should be free and I don't think that's what education should be or what it once was when it was at its best. When you do see, you think it was at its best? Because we have like the Indian Golden House of, oh no, I think it was called the okay. Baghdad Golden House of Wisdom. We have the Greek and Roman, and they had their whole thing about how you have to learn astrology at the same time as learning your education. Correct. We have mm -hmm. like so many different points of learning and knowledge. I think people just love to learn. I think learning is inherent to what we want to do with our we lives. So, so two thoughts. That is the first line of Aristotle's metaphysics, which is all people seek to know that something within us wants to learn. Yes. So to answer your question, when was education at its best? It was no, that its was your, you were the one who was finish? like, yes, education is not at their best here. You're like, this is your new age bullshit. It, like, it, it is. So, but so let, when let, let was me, it good? I was about to say that and you interrupted exactly. me again, okay? My bad, I'm All sorry. Right. So it was at its best when we had a thing called classical education here in America, specifically around the American founding. Classical education has a prioritization mm -hmm. on the Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, and the core canon of Greek thinking, which is that there is an abstract, distant good, the mm. Logos, which mm. created the world, right? Mm -hmm. I want to try to find out more about what that is. So you think that education should revolve around ethics then? You think it should be well, teaching Well, it's a people big part of education, yes. Mm. I think that creating good people should be the number one priority of education. Okay. Do you guys think that creating good people is a priority at Cal State Fullerton? I don't think that that is really a thing that you can achieve, like, with a pointed... I don't think there's a way to really teach somebody... Being, like being a good person is so hard and it involves it is hard. so many different like though. factors. I could prove to you I think how that we could do it. We're getting a little bit too general no, no, with things because no, the Greeks I'll, and the Romans I'll they weren't really you. like they were they had a lot of beliefs, oh, okay? No. Plato and Aristotle yeah. were not like, let's do the most good they were not all in agreement about all these different things. Well, they no, had a lot well, of they, different they had, they had a teacher student relationship. But let me ask you a question. If do you think people would commit more crimes? or less crimes if they knew that a police officer was watching them at all times. I don't think this is what we're talking about, No, no, it's, no you, asked, you said less, you cannot teach people good. I'm asking crimes. a question. Mm -hmm. If somebody f thought that somebody was watching their actions, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. would they behave differently? Yes, definitely. I think that people behave differently when yes. people Therefore, watch their actions. Therefore, if society thought that there was a God that was watching all of their actions, would they behave differently? Do you feel like you behave better when someone is watching Absolutely. your actions? Absolutely, and in fact, Definitely. I, I... So you feel like you can't be good without someone there no, no, to observe it's not it? A, it's not a matter of you no. can't be good, it's that you act better if you think that there is somebody watching and judging your actions. That feels this is really the unfortunate for you because I want to do good because I think it's better for the people around me, not because someone's watching me. Hold, hold That's on. like the ideas of the panopticon. Well, you know? hold on a second, but if you believe that somebody is always watching your behavior, You'd be mm -hmm. less likely to lie, less likely to steal, less likely to cheat. And this is a good question because mm. you're coming after this in good faith. Mm. Do you think human beings are generally naturally good or generally not so good? Are we, are, we, are we flawed from our birth or are we good or are we a blank slate? See, you're bringing up these Christian ideas of good again. Okay. I don't think we really come to the same synthesis on what a good person is. Okay. I feel like was Hitler good? Um, I feel like, again, you're not listening to me. I feel Pretty like we don't question. come to the same synthesis about well, no, what I think good we will, is. Because for me, I think that something like good is, again, the question of 
ethics. It's not really a question of education, right? So you have but, to decide. Uh, but what super people, simple. It's what not people a trick decide question. for themselves is good is different, right? So Hitler but, thought what he was doing was good for his people. We do not see his actions as good because he was pretty awful to a lot of people. But when we turn things into an ethical question, he, he may see it as doing good for himself and God because, yes, a lot of people believe they're doing good for God, even if that was, thing is was, killing people. Was Hitler doing something objectively wrong? Which thing are you talking about? You're talking the about the concentration genocide? camps. No, I don't like the concentration camps, believe it or not. But hold on, you don't like. So was that objectively bad? Objectively bad. I do think that hurting people is objectively okay, bad. Okay, so now we're believing in bad. So then good. There's a spectrum now. You said objectively bad. So you now just said there's a spectrum. It's not a matter of, well, somebody wanted to do some good for yourself. No, no, no. Yes. Now there's a spectrum. Concentration <laughs> camp, bad. bad. So mm. then let's like get away let's from that. How about college. Mother Teresa? Good? Uh, Are you talking about her actions and trying to help the poor? Hundreds of thousands of uh, poor people that were saved in India and Calcutta thanks to her sacrificial work what? over 30 years. I don't know Mother Teresa like that, just, but can we go back to it? I feel like we've gone really off track. No, it's not. For one, no, actually, I, we're, again, we're, we're, again, you're, you're talking about the most important hey, thing because... Hey, dude, you're interrupting me again. Well, it, it is kind of our table, so... Um, oh, so but, you can interrupt me, but yeah, I can't but, no, interrupt but, you. Hold on. The fact you can't answer this question shows that college is a scam. Because what? if uh, you can't say that Mother Teresa good and Hitler Mother bad... Mother Teresa denied anesthetics to people who are in serious pain because she thought the suffering would bring them closer to God. I think a lot of what she did I could be doubt considered. That to be true. Okay, okay, but, but I'll take whatever. It. We can't just reference random things and use that because right now we're talking about ideologies. Again, I find mm. that what I consider to be good revolves more around no. the fact that humans are social creatures and generally pro-social attitudes of promoting uh, collectivism mm. tends to be. It tends to be better for people just because that's in our evolutionary nature. Is but it? you are a Christian, so you believe that there's a guy watching you, and that's what makes you do good. You're no, like, it's not. if someone's that, that, that watching a, me, I am more likely no. to be nice. But Hold I want to be there's nice. Other, I like how other, other people other reasons to do good. To I was nice. asking okay. the question that for would you be more or less likely to shoplift hey. if a police officer was next to you what? in a department store? It's a very simple ethical question. But how does that make me good or not? That just makes it me worried makes about consequences. No, it makes me worried about consequences. You little exactly. faced man. If you do not have consequences. But Hold consequences does not determine the, ethics. The, the, it the just mark means of an intellectual fool is throwing around pejoratives when they don't have wisdom. Remember that. So, le, 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 it, so the question is this. If you do not believe there's a consequence to your action, why wouldn't you do the action? See, that's, again, the ideo ideology of consequentialism. I don't really subscribe yes, to that. Th there I should think be that, consequences. No, but I think that consequences, your actions can exist outside of a vacuum of consequences, right? We can't make our decisions based on whether or not we think the actions will will lead to a certain outcome because those will always be random, right? So I revolve more around we try to do things that we think will promote general pro-social mm. attitudes. I think that that is more likely okay. to get us other than worrying let, let about me, that we Let me we ask you a hypothetical. Have, okay, I, I, this will tell me a lot. Is pedophilia wrong? Pedophilia I consider to be wrong because it is actively damaging someone else, right? But what if they say they're a minor attracted person and it's pro-social to be with a young person? What, why are they wrong? Do you wrong? know what pro-social means? Like pro-social means, there's like pro-social and anti-social behaviors. It's like a theory of social um, psychology. Pro-social generally means like working together, uh, socialization, you No, know, they're socializing with, with an eight-year-old. Why is that wrong? Okay, that's not socializing and you know it. Anti-social behavior well, usually means doing things that are considered... Um, rejecting socialization, like rejecting other people, pushing things away, promoting uh, things that other people actively end up um, considering less. So then, should kind pedophiles go to prison? Uh, pedophiles go to. I do not know what's the best way to handle pedophilia because. No, because how do we know. I don't think that anyone should molest a child, God forbid. But hold on. I really Wh don't. Why, but why shouldn't a pedophile go to prison? What? That's... Again, That's we're getting cool. really off topic. Let's go no, back to the ideas actually, of good no, and evil we're, we're and We're talking about college as a scam, and you're a perfect example, like one of the oh, best thank you. I've ever seen thank to you. show 
the intellectual drivel that is caught on a college okay, campus. Okay, because you think that I'm not being taught about the good, the pure. Well, let's go back to that because I thought that the, was really interesting. Yeah, the good, the, the, good, true, the, the true. We'll do a couple more minutes. The good, the, the true, and the beautiful. Yes. Right. So you think that that's something that can be quantified, can be taught, and that it and experienced. And wait, and not only that, that uh. it should be taught. That yes. we should promote the ideas of good and beauty to other people. Correct. Okay, but let's remove it from that. What about just the idea of because remember the ancient Greeks and Romans that you love so much, they didn't have the same ideas of God in the same way that we do, but That's they correct. still thank you for saying I'm correct. That was really nice of you. Um, it's, it's true. You're um, right. So when they wanted to learn, when they sought out learning, when they had schools of learning and all that kind of stuff, a lot of the times they didn't just teach things hmm. around ethics. They taught other stuff. They taught astrology. They taught medicine. They taught science. They taught arts. And people wanted to learn that. Do you think that that ability, that experience of going into a place and saying, can you teach me more about this subject? Can I learn? Can I expand my worldview? Can I get open to different beliefs? Do you think that that should not be paid for or not be compensated? First of all, it should definitely not be paid for. Secondly, mm -hmm. it depends if those disciplines are mm -hmm. rooted in the pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. So you think Let me only finish if once they're tied into something that well, falls in your ide hold on, ideological hold on, it's worldview. Not my, can, I, can I finish? Okay. Oh, sorry, if those disciplines are finished, are are rooted in the good, the true, and the beautiful. Mm. Absolutely. Let me give you a hypothetical example. Okay. So if you go, I don't know if this school has one, but if they have some sort of center for like feminist ideology mm -hmm. or some sort of inter, do they have one here? Then th that is not in the pursuit of what is good, true, and beautiful. That is in the pursuit of how I can complain and hate men and get a degree and be paid for that. Oh man, this was an interesting discussion, guys. So she was asking about college, even though they were deviating to other topics. So when you discuss about a particular topic, other things will come up and you have to touch on each and every point brought up from that particular question. So the girl was asking that, can education be totally free? How do you expect an education to be totally free? If education is totally free, people will be not challenged about their, their studies. They don't want to read and pass. They don't want to do exceedingly well in the academy. But you know, anything you invest money on, you want to give your best. So you want to you know, make them proud. You want to do excellently well. So there are free educations, right? Quite well. Government schools. But government schools nowadays are not totally free. You have to buy books. Buying of books is not free. Tuition fee might be free, but every other thing are not free. Lesson, buying of books, PTA meeting, blah, blah, all those kind of things. That means education is not totally free. It's not possible for an education to be totally free. And I believe um, education is not totally a scam. In my own aspect, as long as you go to school to acquire knowledge, because if you don't go to school, you might not know how to read and write. Those people that didn't get the privilege to go to a school, might be, they might be able to communicate with you, but they might not have that, you know, since they didn't go to school, they, they might not be able to write or read. So education is very, very paramount. It stands you out among your peers, among people. It gives you that boldness, courage. You can stand and talk to people. It makes you knowledgeable. Yes, at the same time, I can say, education is partially a scam because nowadays whatever you are taught to school is not what they will interview you for when you want to apply for a work just imagine you want to go and apply for a work and they're telling you they want five years experience how how did that one come about five years experience two years experience ten years experience for what reason someone that is just coming up from school maybe you went for service or some people might just you know look for a job immediately after school and you are expecting them to have experience i believe all this experience should be taught in schools schools need to teach practical more than theory we need to be taught more about what we are going to expect in life not only about we are read uh, what is culture what's no practice that culture tell her oh this is it oh this is it oh I, as a medical person, you know, this is what you expect. So medical field, they do practical quite well. Let's say accountant, let's say uh, marketing, all those kind of top you know, courses. They don't, they don't actually teach them the practical. In which at the end of the day, people sit down at home, not getting job, not getting what to do. Because 
all the knowledge they acquired was just theory, theory, book, book, book. So they say that people will chew and pour, chew and pour. It's very sad to me. That's why I would consider it as a scam. But it spoke something about goodness. It said good, right, true. That when it comes to education, there's the good, there's the truth, there's the right. I said humans, one thing about humans is that when you are in front of somebody that can give you punishment, you want to behave well. It's normal. You want to behave well. Even as a, as a kid, when you see that your parents are back from work and they've warned you not to watch TV after school, you want to, you know, hurry up off the TV, do as if you're studying because you don't want them to scold you. Don't want them to you don't want your parents to get angry at you. You will comport yourself well when a policeman is watching your step than if only you, you are alone. So that is how people are. That's how people should be treated. When it comes to education too, you cannot expect people to do good or to do the right thing. Education is for you to know the right thing and do the right thing and you can't expect it to be totally free. If it's totally free, people will misuse the essence of education people will misuse it people will not even want to learn because they know even though they repeat they are not going to pay for school fees so they are ready to come back to that same class but if you know that oh a lot of investment is involved you're going to spend money put your time your energy you know you want to do better that was a beautiful discussion i just love how the girl was you know giving a point and the way the man was letting her understand that based on your point though that is to say, you are trying to tell me that education is a scam. Because you said education is good. Yes, everybody must be educated. It's very important to go to school. No matter how we see education to be a scam, it's very important for us to go to school. For us to understand things of life. And every day we keep learning. Even when we are done with school, we are still learning. That's how life is. Life is education. Life is school. You will keep learning. Like the same way they say, marriage to is school marriage there is no graduation it's for eternal eternity it's forever it's not like a hair but school education is very very important it's acquired knowledge and to impact to your society it allows you to grow and learn more that was a beautiful i really enjoyed it let me know your take on this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye